Exclusively for Hampton Roads, Cox Communications presents Cox Business Television. Welcome back to CBTV. I'm Mike Bram. So we're now armed with the insights and some of the exciting and potentially groundbreaking or even life-saving research happening here in our region. So now what? What do we do with this information? Here to help us examine that question is Dana Dickens, President and CEO of the Hampton Roads Partnership. Dana, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, Mike. Good to be here. Good to be, I'm really glad to talk about this because you are, you are a driver for uh, really economic development in this region. And after what we were just hearing in this last section, can you kind of share with us how does the partnership fit into this? And what are some, what's some of the work that you're doing to help drive the new technologies into the communities yeah. today? Well, what the partnership's doing, Mike, is trying to align uh, all of the assets in the region, which is uh, in, including the, the research facilities. Uh, we, we're trying to, to, to put those uh, together. Uh, we're trying to put the researchers, we're trying to put uh, investors, we're trying to put economic development people all in the same room with the idea that the great research that goes on in this region uh, doesn't do us a lot of economic development uh, help until it gets out of the research uh, of universities into the public sector and, and starts to, to generate jobs and so forth. Uh, we, we have some, some great research. We do uh, a lot of, uh, uh, we, we, do a, we don't do enough um, product in this region. And we need things that, we need to re researchers to develop things that we can sell to get out into the public and, and make uh, economic development opportunities for us. Thank you. And for your, from the research that you've done, I know you guys have traveled pretty extensively. Are, are there some regions that are really doing it right that you all have looked at that maybe we can follow some of their models here? We have, and, and the Chamber's done a great job of taking uh, leaders in the region to, to different cities, and, and it, it's very clear the research has a huge impact in the economic development of a particular city or, or, or region. Uh, and and we're, that's, we, we learned a lot from, from other areas and trying to, to uh, uh, employ that here. From the, it, so the, really the, the secret is how do we commercialize or how do we transfer right. some of the knowledge and the business experience or the research experience into small or even large size companies. Right. What might be some ways that you could envision that through the strength of the chamber and your organization, other communities, I mean, you know, other business leaders in this community, what kind of things might you see that we can do in 2012 different than 2011 to make things better? Yeah, well, a big part of it is the the uh, the networking, uh, the the putting the business people, the investors, uh, and the researchers together. Uh, the entrepreneurs uh, generate 95 percent of the new jobs in the region. So the the more we can put our efforts, uh, and, and it it could be mentoring, it could be uh, providing access to capital. It could be assisting in, in marketing and management of, of, diff of these entrepreneurs. Uh, if we can connect those guys and the researchers uh, and, and have the, the research we have, we're doing uh, start to create jobs for us, we're going to be a lot better off. Are there any things that the veterans coming out of the military right now, is there anything that might be either unique about them um, through their risk taking or mm -hmm. other type of things that might also inspire them to want to stay in this region. So many of them leave, but right. are there other angles that we can task um, in this very eclectic community yeah. better going forward? Yeah, one, of, one of our greatest assets is the modeling and si simulation capabilities we have. And, and those capabilities are, are driven in large part by military. So the re retiring military folks have huge, um, huge assets uh, in that arena. Uh, you see a lot of the defense contractors that are here now are uh, employ the, the, the veterans as they, as they leave the service. One of the things that we would like to see happen is to, to see these guys that are coming out of the military um, take on a little bit of, of that entrepreneurial spirit and, right. and take the knowledge that they have uh, and, and develop businesses around it. And, 45% of our economy revolves around the military now. We would like for those businesses to be in other arenas other than supporting the military. And, and Dr. Wasilenko, who was here earlier, talked about the medical issues, uh, the medical research that's going on here. And it's, it's very, very uh, productive. 
uh, very robust and a great opportunity for us to, to take that um, to diversify the economy from the, the military dependence. It seems like we're almost in this area, really we're already known for our port, we're already known for our military, um, but you know, we really are seeing this medical world really start to take off yeah. and we have some amazing healthcare facilities around here. Is there, is there a part of the economy that you see that right now might be able to grow either faster than another or to take such a large leap um, yeah. into one, you know, yeah, well, the, the healthcare industry is one of the fastest growing industries in Hampton Roads. Uh, and with, if you look at, the, we, we talked about LifeNet, uh, one of the, the, the premier uh, tissue uh, transplant people in the, in the country. Uh, and, and we have a lot of other uh, healthcare institutions. We have, uh, interestingly enough, uh, we have uh, the, the most robust um, medical records transfer opportunities and, and other technology opportunities in the in the medical industry here uh, compared to the to the rest of the country we're we're tops that's great you know with you've got such an interesting perspective if you were to kind of look into your crystal ball what are some of the exciting things for the future of Hampton Roads that you really you see as we grow here over the next couple of years yeah. well uh, you know, we're, we're focusing on uh, several clusters. Uh, one of them is the modeling and simulation. Uh, and, and we see a great growth in that area. Uh, robotics is another industry in Hampton Roads that has a, a great potential, in large part revolving around military with, with uh, the unmanned uh, flights, uh, mm -hmm. the, the drones and right. unmanned vehicles and those kinds of things. Uh, sensors is another. Uh, industry that has a lot of potential in Hampton Roads and, and you can't go anywhere without being uh, involved with a sensor. Right. If you open your car door, I mean, it, it's, it, sensors are everywhere and there's a, a huge market for that. Um, so those are some of the things that are the pretty exciting about the future for Hampton Roads. I had, you know, we all heard of Silicon Valley. I heard that we might be able to be called Simulation Alley or something, yeah. you know. And well, you know, uh, uh, former Governor Warner uh, talked about uh, uh, Sim City uh, in in Hampton Roads right. because of the simulation. Uh, yeah, we, we got we got some great potential there. We, That's we awesome. really do. Yeah. Dana, thank you for your leadership in this community. Thank you for all the things the partnership does, and thank you for being on the show today. Really appreciate it. My pleasure, Mike. Great. Anytime. Thank you, sir. I'll be back with a final thought on today's topic, but first, more insights from Cox Business Executive Discussion Series. Stay with us. You're watching CBTV. Hampton Roads has been anchored, really, in, um, in technology and in, in, in health sciences. And I think that as you talk about the modeling and simulation, you, you look at the institutions that we have, uh, Eastern Virginia, Hampton, ODU, uh, William & Mary, all of us, uh, I think that as we look more toward the technology and the health sciences, that truly is a growth industry, not only for economic purposes, but obviously also for, for medical purposes.